Welcome, welcome, welcome to Sugar's Crafty Closet, where the adventure is always new. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, guys. All right, there's kind of like a, a threefold purpose on recording this video. Um, so I'm going to do a little flip through of some journals I just recently made, and there's a reason behind that. Um, and then we got to talk about that thousand subscriber giveaway I got on today. I don't normally check except for on Sundays, like I told y'all. Um, but I did go and check and I couldn't believe it. I'm like 20, I don't even know if it's 20, like 20 subscribers away from, um, 800. And so, guys, like, really, I'd love to send out that Happy Mail package. Um, so the minute I hit 800, that will go in the mail. And I have to go to the post office on Tuesday. So I would love for y'all to get the word out so that I could get that Happy Mail package out. And if you want to know what I'm sending out, there's actually a video. So, again, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so excited and I have so many things bouncing around in my head. So I had made a Facebook post um, yesterday about some exciting things coming in the fall. And it's not that I don't want to share um, everything with you guys right now. Please know that. Um, I just want to get all the details worked out. Um, and that's what I'm going to share. And so hopefully in a couple of weeks, I can be getting to let you guys know a little bit about what I'm planning for my channel in the fall. Now, I have this amazing, amazing friend named Cree. She's over at Cree Rama. She's really working with me to help me learn how to edit. Again, I'm not going to ever be the one who has the perfect, perfect videos. I'm just not. I don't even want to do it. Because there's so much time that goes into editing that I'd rather spend in my studio creating. Um, and so, but I do want to know how to do um, just like get an intro. And then once I learn how to do the intro, um, then I will probably work on just learning how to speed up the glue process. If you guys are wanting to watch me do mixed media. And that is something I guess I should throw out there. Do you want to watch me do mixed media? Maybe that's not even you want. I will tell you this, if my channel had a mission statement, it would be, I don't want it to be all about me. I really, really want my channel to be about promoting other artists. Now, I say that because it was reaffirmed to me, even when I went to the retreat, that there are so many incredibly talented, talented women out there. And they just need a little hug and a little encouragement to really step out in the gift that I believe that they have. And so that is just something that I want to begin focusing and developing on my channel is I would really like to promote other people. Now, I'm not saying that it still wouldn't be my channel. Of course it would. Um, but I'm just really big about promoting other people as well. And like I said, just where it's not all about me. Okay, guys, so I don't want this to be long. This is actually going to be my practice editing video. So you may never even see this. <laughs> or you may see it in its raw form. So if it has an introduction, that means Cree was successful in teaching me how to do this. All right, guys. So I just wanted to uh, show you some just really quick uh, journals. Um, so this is the one that I just recently made and I had a lot of fun doing this. And once again, about promoting other artists, um, I think you all are aware that, uh, Lori B over at Grunge Girl Lori B is like, I just adore her. Um, the only way I know really how to explain it is I am inspired by so many artists, um, but Lori B is one of those artists who literally speaks to my soul. She, um, I don't know. There's just something when I look at her, um, her creations, it just speaks to me. And, um, so any inspiration I got was from her. Okay. Um, so I look at her stuff and I'm just like, Oh, I want to do that. Um, I, of course, want to put my spin on it. I don't want to 100% copy her, but I will tell you right now, um, yeah, 
I, I don't want to call it stealing, but she is definitely my inspiration behind everything. Um, when Especially Grinch, because I, I just adore her. She is the most talented, amazing artist. I can't say enough good things about her. I will link her for you guys, which means I probably should be leaving myself notes. Um, but I'll link her in the description box. Please go check her out. So I made this little journal real quick because I was uh, teaching at our senior center and I needed to make a journal that wasn't all the way finished so I could kind of show them the different steps, which is where this one came in. I just made this out of um, two-sided paper. So it's super easy. I wanted to show them that. And then I needed to make this. Now what you see here is actually a grungy envelope I made. Um, and I made this before I had my YouTube channel. So you guys let me know if you want me to show you how to do this. I think I had kind of shown the steps when I first got my channel. I can't even remember. But if you want me to do an actual tutorial tutorial, these are the easiest things ever to make. And I thought, oh, that would go perfect with this little journal. And so the envelope itself just kind of pops out here. So let me see if I can pop it out because... You know, you always say that, then you start filming, and yeah, it um, doesn't do that. So as you can see, this is just an envelope. It's going to hold this journal, um, and then when you flip it over, you can just open it up. And my rich, I have like three or four more of these. I don't know. Like I said, if you want me to make one, you know, I'm happy to do that. But I had made them because I thought they would be perfect for like happy mail. I never even thought about doing it as journal covers, but I may do that with um, some upcoming journals that I'm going to be doing, working with another fabulous artist over at um, Junk Journal Divas. Uh, her name is Karen, and she's an amazing, amazing, amazing artist. Um, and I really want to learn from her. But I probably will use my other ones um, to showcase uh, the journals that I want to make with her art. But as you can see, there's slots here, there's slots here, and there's slots here. So it could hold a lot of ephemera. It could hold a journal with little journaling cards. And I don't know, we could put something else in there. So anyway, I just thought it went perfect. The color schemes just seemed to go perfect. And so, yeah, it made that. So I'm going to try to do this fairly quickly. This is actually on Canvas and my wonderful friend, Cheryl T, and I'll link her YouTube and Facebook channel um, as well in the description box. Um, she is the one who is like, oh, Jackie, you should totally start printing on Canvas. It was life changing for me. I don't know why I didn't know about this, but, you know, I'm kind of always late to the party. That's all I can say. Um, and so I've been doing a lot because um, canvas is like material and I, I haven't like got my pay raise to get to that uh, pay grade of printing on material yet, but that's something I'm working on. So that's what this is. And then I just kind of layered it. This is just some tacking and then I'm learning to hand sew and I'm always going to like the wonky look. And when I do grunge, I'm not aiming for straight. I'm aiming for textures. And so I just did um, that around. I added a little bit of tool. This is just um, a doily I had that I wrapped up some um, ribbon in. This came from my wonderful friend, Ricky. Um, she had given this to me the last time I had uh, visited with her. This is just a coffee dyed doily I had. And then this piece that you see right here is actually just a torn um, from my shirts. One of my shirts, um, you know, I just like ripped off the lace and then I just coffee dyed it. Um, then this is just a doily. These are some buttons that I got from Andrea. And then Ricky gave me literally this huge bag of like old zippers. And I thought, you got to start using this stuff. And so I just kind of put that in there. And then this is just some like a button trim. And I had done these button cluster swaps. So I had a little bit left over. I thought you better use that up. This is literally the piece when you get a piece of cotton uh, material that you rip off and it just says cotton all the way down it. So I just kind of added that onto another strip. And then I just did some wonky sewing because like how fun is that? Um, it's a really simple journal. Um, this is just some, um, oh, I don't even know. I had bought this stuff. I forget. They're just like little thin journal pieces cut in the perfect journal size. So um, I got them from Amazon. I will try to remember uh, where I actually got it. But again, this is just this torn um, 
part of my shirt that I just coffee dyed and grunged up. This is um, an old uh, cloth napkin that I had in my stash. And so I cut it in four parts so that I could make a pocket here and then just added some of this doily piece that I had. And then literally it's a super simple writing journal. Um, it does have a little bit of vintage in it. Uh, it has obviously a lot of grunge, but this is vintage from 1945. And then this trim actually came from a little bundle that I got from my friend Susie. Um, over at Mary Not Martha. She did um, a package directed just for me. I asked her for a grungy package and she makes scrumptious grungy laces. And so I put that in there. And again, some more writing. This is a vintage paper that I got from my wonderful friend Beth. And this is some more. Now I did try to reinforce some of these receipts because they're like so old. And so I did that. And again, I'm trying to make this not a super long video, um, but to give you guys like an idea. It's really meant to just, you can see there's no ephemera. This is meant to be a writing journal. Um, this is a check from 1976. Pretty sure I got that too from my friend Ricky. Um, and you can see I added vintage. I added from some paper pads. Uh, this is another receipt from 1960. Um, but it's a very plain, simple journal, and I need to do a few of these. And now this I totally stole from uh, Lori B. So I bought a journal from her, and I noticed in the journal which uh, that it had this paper bag, and it kind of hides the signatures. And I thought, how cool is that? And then, of course, you can see where you just have so many tuck spots of things you could put in there. There's tuck spots here, and again... There we go. This is eco dyeing paper. I'm pretty sure I got it from Ricky, but I don't know. I've kind of been getting papers from other people. So if it's yours, I will so correct that. Again, that's just the checks, checks, vintage papers. This is just like, um, like a napkin um, that I had that I coffee dyed. More papers, just a whole slew of different goodies. Um, and just to fill, it'll be a lot of fun. Now, I have been asked if I'm going to sell the journals. I am going to start selling. <laughs> if I would stay out of my studio, I could go finish getting my license. <laughs> and another little part of that uh, napkin. Um, and so I really, really am going to work on that this weekend. Because <laughs> I got to. Um, so... Um, that is on my agenda. I have a very packed weekend with my granddaughter coming over, but I'm thinking before I pick her up, if I don't get to it today, then I am going to get to it uh, tomorrow morning before I pick her up. Maybe I'll even try to do it when I'm at urgent care. Okay, where are we out on time? All right. So this is a, a little journal that I had originally made just to show uh, the ladies over at our senior center um, how you could do a really simple journal just using... Um, two little, just uh, 12 by 12 paper. Uh, I just used two sheets and that's literally how I created the whole thing. Uh, this is just a journaling card. So this is, this front page right here is literally just um, a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Okay. And I just folded it up to make pockets and I did the same thing um, for the middle pocket. And then I just added, this is just like an old curtain, I believe. And I just added, I have this little tin box sitting right below my desk um, that's full of just scraps of material from when I'm doing journals. And that is what I have to use up. And so that is literally all these pieces. This is actually a vintage piece of um, material that I had. And you can see, I literally just added a bunch of trims. This is like from Sheila at Boho Daydream. So I just added what trims I had left. And again, this is just a really simple writing journal. Now this one has been claimed. I had this wonderful friend on um, Facebook and she also has a wonderful YouTube channel. Uh, her name is Yaffe and I hope I am saying your name right. And she is just fantastic. She inspires me all the time. So this is actually um, a little uh, happy mail rack, whatever you wanna call it for her. Um, it's a writing journal because she's an amazing writer. And so I just tried to make up some little uh, like tuck spots and just add some little goodies for her to write on. And then 
you know, like I said, I had a stack of these tracks and things like that that um, my husband gets. And so I kind of add those to all my journals now. Um, just meaning, like, I don't throw away paper at all. So this is just another one. Just has the name, um, my business name on there. Um, but I, I just adore her. And I will do my best to remember to link her YouTube channel as well. Um, and then this goes here. Okay, so again, it's just a writing journal. Um, she's an amazing writer, and I just try to fill it with uh, different things from magazines. I kind of have started this on a shelf, and it just kind of has all these papers I know I need to start using up, um, and that's what I've been filling my journals with. This was just, an, you know, one of my dying experiments of let's just throw it in the tub and see what happens, and that's what happened. And so again, just a super, super simple journal. Then this is the other uh, 12 by 12 piece of paper. You can see I just literally folded it up. I sewed around it. And then I just shoved in a little goodie. And I just made some of these cute little cards or tags, I mean. Um, just super simple. You can see that was where the binding was. And that is it. And then in the back, again, we just have a journaling card. Anyway, just a very simple um little journal just to tell her uh, how much I um, adore her, how much I appreciate her. Um, and so that hopefully we'll go out with our big happy mail package. As much as I love to walk to the post office so I can get like two things done at once, exercising and mailing, um, I would really like to get that mailed out. Okay, guys, now we got to get down to some serious family business. Okay. So all right, I have put out in a few videos back, what did you guys want me to make with you for the 1,000 subscriber giveaway? Um, and I got more responses for the book box um, than I did for the metal envelope. So those who wanted the metal envelope, please do not uh, be sad because I promised to flip on the camera um, that middle envelope is actually going to be one of the Marie Antoinette journals that I'm working on. So if you follow me on Facebook, you know I'm doing three and I'm doing them all in different um, styles. Um, so I cut everything out to do the book box. Okay, so I'm going to get this glued together. The next video you see me in, it'll at least be glued together because I already showed you guys how to do that. Um, I guess the next thing I need to know from you guys, um, my idea is I'm going to decorate this up. I was going to use clay and um, I was going to make it more fancier. But if you don't want it fancy, now is the time to tell me. If you don't want clay on it, you'd rather see me just use uh, stuff like I did on Crease Box where I use like paper towels um, and I just use stuff that I have laying around. I can do that too. I just need to know what it is um, you guys would like um, because I know everybody doesn't have clay and I don't know if I'll get to it this weekend because it's pretty packed. I'm going to try though to maybe film uh, my granddaughter and I making some clay, um, but I can't promise that. It might be on another one. Anyway, so I need to know kind of like what you guys would like for this because we are going to start that series in the filming next week. Um, and then I would like to add a bunch of rack items inside of here. So I thought I could do supplies inside of the box um, instead of doing a journal. Let me know what you think. If you want a journal, you have to say make a journal for the box. If you would rather have the box filled with a bunch of ephemera and supplies, you need to let me know on that. Um, I, again, want to promote other artists, so I was going to add stuff from Susie, um, again, Mary Not Martha, from Cree over at Cree Rama. I was going to add Sheila stuff over at Sheila at Boho Daydreams. Like, I'm just going to pull stuff that I have personally bought from these uh, wonderful artists, and I was going to put it in the box. So you guys let me know if you want that. If you don't, then I will make a journal uh, to go with the box. So you have to let me know. A, ephemera, B, journal, okay? So, and then, let's see. I think that's it, guys. I don't want this to be super long. Um, 
And as you guys know, I always have like 60 things going on. I even am getting ready to build up uh, one for my mother-in-law. She's an amazing dancer. She's been dancing, I don't know, for like 60 years. Um, and sadly, uh, she is losing her eyesight. And I found this wonderful kit. And it just reminded me so much of her. Um, and I love her so much. She's one of the, the great women in my life who have completely inspired me. She's probably one of the reasons I have this channel because she's fearless. Like this is the, the lady who's like sliding down our hill with my grandchildren, her great grandchildren. Um, and you know, she is like in her eighties and she is just amazing. And she dances and she did theater and I just adore her. And so when I seen this kit, I thought, oh my gosh, this is so my mom. And so I'm going to be starting that journal too. All right, guys. So this is what we got to do. First, we got to hit that goal of 800. So please um, like, share, subscribe, and get the word out. Again, please only share me in groups that you're not going to break the rules in, okay? Um, I don't want to break people's rules. You can share on your own Facebook. You can share any way that you would like. Um because we're going to be shooting towards that thousand subscriber. And I can tell you right now, I'm leaving for Idaho in July and I will be making the 1500 subscriber goodie uh, thing there. So I'm always trying to think ahead. All right, guys. So if you see an introduction, yay, I figured it out, but not without a lot of help from my wonderful friend, Gree. Um, and so thank you guys. Thank you for your wonderful support. I'm always trying to um, improve. I hope this angle is better. Somebody said the last angles have been making them seasick. And that was the first comment I've gotten about that in a long time. So I'm not quite sure how else I can angle this, um, but I'm always open to suggestions. So thank you. Thank you, everyone. I totally appreciate you. And you know what? I'm going to see you all on the flip side. Bye, guys.